It's been a while since I've had any sort of real inspiration boost. Something that really inspires me to really want to keep making art. Almost like a punch in the face, like an inspiration punch in the face. I just recently had one of those and I'd like to share that with you guys. And hopefully by the end of this video, you too can find that one thing that inspires you the most. But before we get into the video, I just want you guys to know that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Okay, now Skillshare is an amazing website with over 20,000 classes on drawing, illustration, design, Photoshop, animation, anything you can think of, photography, editing. The website is a really, really good learning website with a lot of valuable classes. So I highly suggest that you check it out. Okay, now you can get two free months of Skillshare using the link in the description to sign up where you can check out the whole website for two months without worrying about paying or anything, just as a trial. And if you don't like it, you don't have to pay. But I seriously do recommend that you check it out because most of my digital skills I did learn from a lot of classes in the website. So if you guys want any, you know, specific classes that you feel that I should recommend, uh, let me know because there really are a lot of classes there that really help me. So if you want to check it out, you can use the link in the description, all right, to sign up. If you don't like it, you can cancel at any time, okay? You have absolutely zero commitment. So use the link in the description to sign up and get two months of free Skillshare. All right, so let's get right into the video. Ignore the Your Name soundtrack music in the background. I thought it was appropriate for this video because I'm gonna get into the movie and uh, personally, I feel like the music in that movie is probably one of the best ones that I've ever heard. So to get in the mood of inspiration and motivation and feeling and art and all that, I just thought it was appropriate to use that as a background music for, for this video. So a few months back, I made a video talking about my biggest drawing inspiration, where I talk about the movie Your Name or Kimi no Nawa. And that video, in my opinion, really sums up what really drives me, okay? But I mean, that was a very specific video talking about a specific inspiration. In this video, I'll try to generalize it a lot more and really get into inspiration and motivation as a whole. But if you want to check out that video, I'll leave a link in the description, okay? I suggest that you check it out. I mean, you can watch it after you watch this video so you have a better idea of what drives me and what motivates me. So a lot of people really struggle with art block and a lot of people do ask me, how do I deal with art block? And when you are discouraged with art and stuff like that, how do you deal with it? A lot of people do ask me this and I just thought I would make a video about it just so that, you know, I tell you what I really think about the topic. Whenever those points do kind of reach, I do have a trick to get back to motivation and I will talk about that a little bit after. Because a lot of people do get discouraged and most people don't really understand how to like get over it or what are the things that really causes that and for a lot of people they get stuck with that for a really long time now personally i've not really experienced art block all that often i haven't really experienced it because i really know what really motivates me and what really drives me and you know i just haven't experienced it as often as i don't know your average artist who doesn't really know what really drives them or what really motivates them so i don't think i'm super qualified to give you any sort of specific advice to overcome that but i can tell you how i get inspired and how i keep at it for a really long time and hopefully the secret that i share with you guys today helps you understand art a little bit better because most people don't understand art and they take art pretty much like on the surface and don't really dive deep into it and that's probably the wrong way i would say to look at it if you are planning to do this for a long time i really do encourage you to look deeper rather than you know looking at the surface as i have i mean i can't say i have for the longest time but it took me a really long time to figure this out because i've been there you know i've tried to be influenced by other people on social media for example things that are popular things that other people do i've tried to imitate people and those things have never actually lasted and a lot of people will if they're like me a lot of people will wonder why am i not interested in this why am i having an, like an art block and for me personally i feel it's because you haven't really found what really drives you what you're really interested in because if you do find that one thing that really motivates you and really really motivates you i truly believe that art block doesn't really come all that often if that makes sense yeah that's pretty much where i'm kind of leading to i hopefully you understand what i'm trying to say here but that's kind of where i'm leading at with when it comes to inspiration and motivation and art block so a lot of people do struggle with that and a lot of people also struggle to kind of find that one thing that really 
like really inspires them. You can have interest, yes. Maybe your reason to make art is only because you want to make something cool. And that's all right. But is that a good enough reason to always come back to art with excitement? Or will you eventually abandon it because you lost interest or lost motivation? If that's the case, I suggest you find a better reason to make art. See, there are two types of people. There are those who already have art figured out and most of the time don't lose motivation because their reason to make art is good enough to always be excited about it. Now we get burnouts, yes, we're humans, we can get discouraged from time to time for whatever reason. And we eventually, you know, need a break. But in my opinion, those moments don't last a very long time and you eventually get back to making what you love without any problems. Examples of this can be, for example, a lot of Instagram artists love to draw or paint pretty girls. Now this is very common amongst Instagram artists. The most popular Instagram artists pretty much make uh, most of the time just pretty girls, you know, Instagram models or just anime pretty girls as a whole. And that's a very common interest amongst the most popular artists on Instagram, for example, or on Pinterest or whatever. Now, they, they love to paint pretty girls. For them, it's a good enough reason to never ever get tired of making art. And that's a reasonable reason that I can relate to. I also like looking and painting, you know, pretty girls. And from time to time, I love making illustrations of them. Uh, but for me personally, uh, it's not a good enough reason to always get back to art. If that was my reason to make art, I'll eventually most definitely lose motivation. If the reason for making art was trying to copy other people because, I don't know, you might think that maybe because of them making pretty girls, maybe that's the reason why they're getting so much attention on Instagram, for example. And you're like, okay, maybe because most people like that, maybe me too, I can do that. Now, if you're trying to copy other people's interest, I think that you're definitely going to lose motivation and you're definitely going to have discouragement or art blocks along the way more often than you think because in my opinion that's not the best way to approach art and secondly there are those people who as i mentioned only like art because they think it's relaxing or they can make a lot of cool illustrations and that's fine that can perfectly be your reason but they're just not as attached to art as much as other artists who already have it figured out which is why in my opinion those people get a lot less discouraged than the average artists laziness is also a very big problem amongst these people they get discouraged because they're lazy and it's really important to pinpoint whenever you're lazy because most artists can't know Notice whenever laziness kicks in and that's a big cause of art block in my opinion so it's very important to know the difference between being lazy and being discouraged because being lazy is a very big cause of you saying oh I'm having some sort of art block or I'm getting discouraged so I really want you guys to really separate these two things okay because this is a I'm speaking from experience because I'm a really really lazy person so I would encourage you to kind of be aware of this always try to figure out whenever you're actually lazy and whenever you have an actual art block okay because they're two very different things and sometimes we tend to mix both of them so I do encourage you to make those two things very aware and kind of notice when you have each of them laziness is just one of the reasons okay it can be that or for example it can be anything that life throws at you it can be school family problems all these little things make you wonder if you really liked making art in the first place if not might as well stop right i'm saying this from experience if you don't find the one reason why you love to make art you're gonna end up quitting or getting discouraged. I'm going to give you an example that kind of illustrates what I'm saying. For the longest time now, what really drove me to make art since the beginning was to eventually publish my own manga. Still is. For as long as I can remember, that's what I've always wanted. And I started pretty much like everyone else, okay, watching YouTube videos. And someone who really inspired me was Mark Crilly, one of the oldest YouTube art channels. And I'm sure most of you will know who he is. He's one of the oldest ones. He had a lot of mangas and books published and I thought that was like the coolest thing ever. Until this day that still drives me. And back then that was the first time I got the punch in the face as I mentioned in the beginning and since then I've tried putting my all into making comics. Uh, that was many years back. You'd think that attempting to make a manga for that many years that I'd at least have one somewhat finished manga. It's weird because till this day I don't have a single one. So far the most that I've done is the most recent one and I'm just eight pages in. Now why is that? Obviously there are a lot of different reasons okay laziness was definitely one of the 
leading causes. Uh, to be honest with you, most of the time lost were periods where I lost motivation. It was like an on and off thing, okay? Sometimes I felt more motivated than ever, but other times... I wasn't. And this made me think if making comics was as inspirational as I thought it was. I started to wonder if this is actually the art core that drives me or is it just an interest to make something cool. Now don't get me wrong, okay, making comics or making manga is still something that drives me till this day. But I'm starting to think I might have something that inspires me more something that gets me excited to make art every single time then i was like all right let's sit down and actually think about this okay what exactly are my interests and what would be the one thing that i would always want to do and i invite you to do the same thing okay sit down actually think about this okay really think what are your interests what is it that drives you what is it that you love to do then i started thinking things that i really love are breathtaking sceneries backgrounds landscapes cityscapes etc both to film it and to photograph it now one thing that i would eventually love to do is to travel all around the world and visit breathtaking landscapes cityscapes all over and photograph each place if you guys didn't know i do have a photography account okay it's at photo scenography and if you guys are interested in that i do have a photography account i'll leave a link in the description or you can just search on instagram on um, photo scenography i pretty much combine the words photography and cinematography because I love both so much so if you want to check it out I will leave a link in the description at the moment obviously I can't do all of that but I can paint what I hope those moments could look like and one movie that really captures all of this is Makoto Shinkai's film Your Name and I've mentioned this in the other video for me it's probably the most inspiring movie I've ever had the opportunity to watch and it's the perfect inspirational material to always get back to whenever i need to get inspired it can either be the movie soundtrack or just seeing random shots of the movie or art from the creator now i encourage you to find an inspirational material as well that you know that you can always get back to it could be a song a movie anything anything that inspires you i encourage you to find it and save it so that whenever you're feeling down or whenever you need that boost that you can look back and get inspired amongst landscapes backgrounds nature and all that other things that i love are sunsets sunrises clear blue sky and what other way to enjoy all of this than with someone you care about someone you love it's those moments that makes life worth living in my opinion putting everything together what is it that i love being able to represent that on a canvas making it real things that you hope eventually you'd have because obviously it's something that i am not able to reach yet it's something that i hope to achieve things that are in your imagination dreamlike things i feel like is what drives me something that you just hope it's real to the point where it's almost kind of impossible for it to be 100 real which is why in my opinion i love the movie your name so much because that really captures my interest and as i mentioned one of my passions is to eventually travel around the world and see landscapes and all of that to eventually share that with someone that i care about in conclusion what really drives me is love adventure and life the thought of capturing those little moments that life gives us is a good enough reason to never get tired of representing how i imagine it to look like and whenever i need to get inspired i just go through my inspirational material so i also encourage you to make a somewhat of a folder okay that gathers all the things that inspires you and get back to it whenever you need the boost in conclusion you have to find the one thing that really hits your core something that really really interests you because in my opinion art is a feeling it's not a surface feeling it's deeper than that and if you expect to do this for a really long time i encourage you to find what really drives you so i've told you my perfect art inspiration that i know i could never get tired of i've told you mine what's yours and once you find yours hopefully that keeps you motivated forever